You're listening to Polished Woman, only on L.A. Talk Radio. Hey, Polished Woman, how are you? I'm here once again, and I want to discuss with you. Our today's show is about how to be in show business by Nikki Hassel. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a good concept. <laughs> it seems like every time I look, there is something new to watch as well as new way to watch it. In a lot of ways, there is a, um, this, is a great, uh, this is great for people who are looking to get into making or being on television and get more, uh, but more outlets isn't the same as usually getting a deal. And sometimes what's more important than knowing that there are opportunities out there is talking to someone with experience in the industry. And so that's why I invited the legendary Nikki Haskell from the Nikki Haskell Show. Right, the Nikki Haskell Show is now yes. on Amazon Prime. Oh, okay. It's uh -huh. been up for uh, several years, but I shot it 30 years ago. Wow, So if you, if you want to talk about, you know, you sometimes you just have to do it yourself. I always, you have to be on the cutting edge. You can't rely on anyone. Mm -hmm. It's a very complicated situation, and of course your life is always on the line. So how did you end up doing what you did? Well, I want to introduce <laughs> Lindsay. Lindsay, okay, what, how do you pronounce your name, Lindsay, your last name? Last name is Lytel. Lytel. She was actually in Naked and Afraid twice, you right? Can, yep. Two times. Yep. So, you, so were you more naked or more afraid? <laughs> I was not afraid at all. I was very, very naked. <laughs> she was very There's naked. Zero tan lines. <laughs> but so, I, did, I did 21 days in Namibia, in Africa, in Southern Africa. Can you imagine? And then I came back and did 40 days in South Africa. That, and that just finished airing 12 episodes. Yeah. So let me ask you something, because I am a girl that has never posed naked, okay? <laughs> My mother told me, never pose naked, okay? So I've taken her at her word. How was it out there all those, weren't you yeah. cold? Oh, uh, very cold. Oh, and okay. I, I want to just say, my mother also told me, don't pose naked. It's not, <laughs> it's, it's not, it was not a natural thing for me. Right. But so uh, you have so few people around you and you are in nature that it's just, you fake it till you make it and then you yeah. get comfortable because it's about, it's real survival. It's not so about- So you're out there by yourself? You are out there on the 21 day, you have one partner. You have right. a male partner who right. you've never met right. until he's you're completely naked out there naked. And he's naked too. And you have no shoes and you have no water and so you can't focus on the fact that you're naked and uncomfortable, you are thirsty. And if you don't boil water, you don't drink. And eventually you die, so or you, you have to tap out. Where did you where did you hide your, where did you hide your matches? <laughs> no, we. It took us ten days to get fire our first time. Really? Yes. So you were never a Cub Scout or anything. I could do no, it. No, right my away. partner, my partner did a bow drill, but the wood in Africa is different than the wood that we have here. Were there so times difficult. that you were like? You didn't eat any food or drink for like days? It was 14 days. My first challenge, my second oh challenge my is different, but 14 <laughs> days we went without food. So and how we much only weight ate did four you, times. How much weight In 21 you days, I lost 15 pounds. Right. Yeah. Wow. But you're, on you're, the such, a, you're such a pretty girl, and I'm sure you're in great shape. You go to the gym and work out. I do. So I how'd you get in instructor. How did you get in shape? Like, did you practice being naked? I mean, did you walk in front of the mirror and say, ah, naked. No, <laughs> I tried to avoid it at all costs. And there's no mirrors out there, so it's just, it's the mindset of, don't you want, honestly, that, you fake that, it that, till you make it. I, mean, I, would, I would look at it this way. If I, in fact, happen to be running around naked, I would hope that there's a lot of mirrors there for me to check out. <laughs> no, I wanted no what, mirrors because I could pretend that I was fully clothed so did, so and did, I was fine. So how was the guy? Was he naked? Was he cute? <laughs> he was naked. He, <laughs> he, he, was like my, he was like my little brother. He was... Um, that's the, those Same. are the ones you always have to watch out for. No, he was like um, <laughs> Bob Marley meets Paul Bunyan. Right? Wait a He's like a white Bob Rasta, <laughs> very <Bunyan>. peaceful <laughs> mountain man. He was he's my yeah. the best partner I could have had on my first experience. So did you sleep with him? Did you have sex with him? <laughs> oh god, no. I am married, married and I have children. <laughs> you have I am married. Children. And it's what did your gross. Children think Nikki, about you this? have no shower for twenty one <laughs> days. You never do there's I nothing never, sexual about think, the whole experience. I don't think there's there's very, I have, very sexual. I have, I have certain standards. I don't do anything <laughs> that I can't can't do in high heels. Otherwise, it's, that, that's a Then, you know journey. what? This is not the show for you. <laughs> definitely I'm say show that. business, I'll have to go someplace else. <laughs> Wait, Nikki, so what can you advise her? Now that she did this show and she's, she was out there and she wants to continue being in the business, like how how, how can you advise her? How, well, what, how, okay, what well, next, okay. What's the next uh, wait, thing wait, she should do? So if, if you had your 
snap of the fingers and you could do anything, what would it be? What do you want to do? I can't advise you if I don't know what you want to do. All right. I'm also a chef. I went to Le Cordon oh, Bleu. Good. We like that. And the I've been a chef. chef. They I, have the naked there's chef. already <laughs> naked chef. Jamie Oliver. He's already taken that. And, Wait, really? And, He's not, not really know. naked. That's not about, hygienic. Okay. That is not how about, yeah. certified. How about, how about the overdressed chef? You yes, can wear like a maybe. ball gown the you know, and a tiara. Chef. And I'll be naked and underneath. Could, right. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> um, no, my I, I love to travel, and I love fitness, and I love cooking, obviously. Well, that's and good. so if I could do anything, so it would be a travel like a, like It would a be hosting, a travel show. Like a yes. hosting, and not in the... But like not acting and stuff. Not which acting, is, no. Which is what she's good at. Yes. Because all what am I good at? Has. I don't know what I'm oh. good at. <laughs> no, you're good. You know, because you had a show. You hosted a show Yeah, but for you see, from, okay, first of all, I was among the first five female stockbrokers in the world. So I wow. did that for 10 years. Yeah. Okay, and one day I woke up and had this television show, and nobody ever had a show in those days. So it was... Uh, it was great in a way because I just did whatever I wanted to do, and I shot, produced, hosted, and edited, bought the airtime, put it on the air, and it was my show. Wow. You know, and I, I let it follow my life. I took the cameras everywhere mm -hmm. because I love going dancing. I shot it at Studio 54. I thought, you know what, I better come up with some like really clever. So did you do this by yourself? Yes. Oh. But I, I mean, I hired, I, ha I had sort of a, I had a camera crew. I, had a, I had, didn't have any idea what I was doing. Mm -hmm. I just did it. And um, because I like to go dancing every night, I thought I better come up with some like really clever idea about the fact that I like to go to Studio 54 every night. Otherwise, mm. they're going to start like a Disco's Anonymous and they're going <laughs> to turn me in and I'm not going to get to go dancing anymore. So I made it my career. When I started the show, the it wasn't actually my idea. It was Prince Egon von Furstenberg's idea. They wanted to shoot it in a studio and I wanted to shoot it on location. So at first, we sort of, we yeah, sort of halved I it. I did yeah. a little of each. And of course, every week I had a new designer come in and do the sets, and Andy Warhol did the pictures and this wow. and that. So, but I always wanted to shoot on location, so I ended up actually doing it myself. And Pan Am was my sponsor. Mm -hmm. They used to Amazing. give me free yeah. tickets. I had to go everywhere. I went all over the world. I went to the Philippines with the Marcuses by myself. I know. By I've myself heard of without that. a camera crew. And I commandeered their camera crew in one day. Had them all. They were all doing everything I wanted. Then I cam commandeered Madam Marcus's camera crew. But you know, life is an adventure, mm -hmm. and you never know what's going to be next for you. I think that at, when I did what I did, there was no opportunities. There was only the networks. Right. Okay? Yes. Created now you have more. Right. Now we so actually have more. I was yeah. in prehistoric cable. You'd say to somebody, "I'm in cable." They'd go like, "Ooh, cable." <laughs> you know. <laughs> and, and because originally cable was laid out throughout the country for areas that didn't have tele television reception. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it wasn't even that long ago. Only the major cities had television. So these cables were laid all over everything. And when my show was was beamed in, I mean, we were going into places in the Bible Belt and things like that. They never saw anything like my show before. <laughs> and I did fashion, and, and I was the first person to ever interview Donald Trump and Ivana Trump. I did quite a few shows with them. All my shows now are on Amazon Prime, but they license all my shows. I just did five documentaries on Donald five documentaries this week. It's one show that's wow. five episodes. Where can people watch it? Well, there's, an epi there's one on now on Netflix. Okay. It's called The American Dream. Okay. Oh. And it's a, it's a, it's a four-part mm -hmm. one, and I'm in all four parts of that. And then I just did one that's for the History Channel, mm -hmm. and that one I think is gonna be six parts, and that one goes on the air in January. Wow. So I think it's great. It's Lizzie, up to you. Yeah. You know, you, you can't at you know, let me explain to you. If, do you have an agent? I don't. Okay. So How can she find an agent? Yeah, I never found one. So I don't can't know. Go by me. Yeah. I don't know if if um, I don't know if that's the right way for me to go. I'm not I sure. Like well, well, the way that she was, you know, uh, the truth of the matter yeah. is, I I never had an agent. Mm -hmm. Not that I didn't try, but at, when I started, I was too old. Mm -hmm. They're looking for that 18 to 24 year old, which actually. Oh well, then I'm out. <laughs> that's it. No, that's no, no, I'm too old too. It's but nowadays, truth. it's not that. Though. Yes, it's it is. It's not about the age nowadays. Of course it is. Yeah, Everything's. It. But so. the problem is, is there is no market for those people. A, they don't buy anything. B, they live at home. They don't watch television. Mm -hmm. You know, they're out on stick-ups or whatever they do. Yeah. If they're married, they're living at home with their parents and their children, so they have no disposable income. Mm -hmm. So they're searching for a m market that does not exist. The fastest growing age group in the United States are people over 85. Okay. They are lean and mean. Those are the people that you are, are the spenders. Mm -hmm. They're the ones with the disposable incomes, can go on the trips, 
If you're going to do a travel show, you have to find somebody. Are you uh, telling me to get a sugar daddy? <laughs> <laughs> if, you if you find one, see if he has a friend for me. Okay, yeah, that's it. I never We're can good. find a sugar daddy. I think, I I think hate what that. she's saying is, I think, you know, what her advice is, maybe you could do your own, because there's a lot of things that you can do now. First of all, you're very, very pretty. She's very she, pretty. Right? She's and I'm beautiful. sure you have good presents. Yeah. What, you know, it, 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 you, the problem is, is that you're probably not going to find an agent. Unless you want to be an actress, if to be an on-camera personality actually you falls actually in that, you can do it yourself. You can't. And no, the, you yeah. can't. Well, the I nice do, thing about know. YouTube, you YouTube which well, you do, but I'm not successful yeah. at it. So what good to do? What good is it? I mean, I became successful much later. Mm -hmm. I mean, I had a shot. I shot, produced, hosted, and edited 300 shows. I had to pay for it myself. Put it on my air myself. I had sponsors. I never made enough money. So I mean, it was like. It was like great fun. I mean, I had a great time. Yeah. But that's not the way they do things these days. You have to come up with a intelligent game plan. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you have to find somebody that, that will put a little show t tape together for you and somebody that will help you, whether it's a producer or someone that, you know, you... But you that's have actually, footage on yourself. Right. I think it's sort of fabulous. I, uh, that's actually true. I have a friend who um, who's actually very big. She got so big in Facebook just by doing her own and that, yeah there was no home. Facebook right yeah and she did it herself now she makes every time she says she says every, anything about the product and stuff she gets paid so much money right so you can actually start from that and then from there I think she's right make a little um, what do you call that video stuff? little video of yourself and mm -hmm. then yeah, a little a sizzle, sizzle reel yourself, mm -hmm. and that's how it is and then send it to all this so um, let me ask right. you a question yeah so how long have you been married for 13 almost 14 years and what does your husband do he is in law enforcement. Oh, but that's I won't good. elaborate. Yep. Yeah. Okay. But he's very supportive. Right. Yeah. He's very so supportive. He's, he's, he's very supportive. He's very supportive. He's very supportive. But maybe you should do something. You have children? We do. How many? Two boys. Well, that's great. You try to maybe build the show with them and do mm -hmm. something with it. How about a reality show with your husband? He wouldn't do it, no? He wouldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> he enjoys being support, but yes, yeah. he's not... He, but maybe she should. She on. should like start with a sizzle. What do you call that? Sizzle reel. First, you have to, first you have to write down. You have to sit down and write down what it is that you want to do. Right. See, mm -hmm. the problem that I always have is I never knew what I wanted to do. I just sort of did it. I've <laughs> never been programmed. You know, I would take the camera and they say, "Oh, there's a party over here. Let's shoot that and let's go to Rio de Janeiro and everything," which is not the way to do things. I mean, you have to have a game plan. It's true. Mm -hmm. You I have never, to have a, a concise game plan. Right. I have mm -hmm. many ideas, but I've been um, focusing on one idea which and is which is uh, without giving too much away but it is travel channel think anthony bourdain yeah okay I was meets just though that. like adventure and yeah. fitness in there as well Ooh, that's, Sounds that's good something to me. it's a new idea that that's yeah. not out right now it's a, it's a, it, yeah. because i'll tell you something i was in the diet business for 20 years and the biggest oh, problem that, yeah. you know i had the number one diet product in the country called star caps and I became wow. really obsessed by the, you know, the number one problem in the United yeah. States right now is obesity. Right. Mm -hmm. Nobody's talking about the fact that everybody's fat, not just fat, but obese. It was interesting today, I found something in the paper that said there's more deaths caused by obesity than any other thing. It causes cancer, blood pressure, high blood pressure, heart disease. Right. So there is such right. a need for someone coming in there. The problem is it's, it's so far past the point of no return mm -hmm. that you the only way to attack it is actually one person at a time you know because obesity uh, obese is 30 pounds overweight most people yeah. would kill to be 30 pounds right. overweight yeah. they're like twiggy I and mean, these people okay I'll give in 1958 the average size dress was an eight do you know what the average size dress is today a 24. Wow. No. Yes. Wow. And they're really 26s, but the designers make them one size Vanity smaller sizing. because they don't, they, oh, I don't wear a 26. I only wear a 24. I would kill myself <laughs> if I wore a 26 dress. <laughs> <laughs> well, and there are a lot of, of shows. You look at The Biggest Loser and you look at some It really of those didn't have an impact on the public. No, no, but people like to watch those, but... I think the difference is, is when you go on vacation, you go, well, now's my time to splurge. Well, why yeah. can't you I go didn't. on? I just but did. why can't? But it's, but it's okay. Yeah. But why yeah. can't you go on vacation and find good food that you're not going to gain 15 pounds when you get I'm, home? I would just but you're still I just sampling came, the world. I just came yeah. back from Europe. I was in Saint Tropez. We went out for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and I never ate anything fattening. I was so good. When I came home, I'm pigging out and eating crap. Did you I work out? 
Yeah, I, w I have an invention, my Star Cruncher. Yeah. It's a belt with cords. It's going back on the market again in October. Every morning I get up, go down to the gym in my building, work out my Star Cruncher. It's the greatest. Oh my gosh, I just, I just like actually like thought about this. Maybe like for example, I was away for seven days and I did not work out because I don't have time, you know, to You'd go like to the, the gym. You like the Star Crunch? I could give it with yeah. you. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah it's, it's called Gym in a Bag. Oh, it's I love that. It's fabulous. Yeah, it's so maybe you can do a show like a travel show where you can squeeze in a little bit of, of exercise. Of exercise. Well, I want, I want our adventures to be the exercise part. I want to go hike the haiku stairs in Oahu. It's also called oh. the Stairway to Heaven. You know, I want to mountain bike in Costa Rica. I and, think but it's, it's fun and but adventure, you know but you're burning calories at the same time. Yeah. I'll tell you something. If you put together a proposal or just an outline of what you want to do, I think that you'd have a pretty good chance. Because, you know, you know, what's that show that they have? Yeah, with so the uh, What's the one where people are jumping around? And it's an adventure show kind of show. Um, you would be good at that. There's some other shows out there because you look like you're somebody that could like be... Like The Amazing Race? Is that what you're talking about? No, it's something, mm. it's something that's done in the studio. But what about mm. The Survivor and places like that? Did you ever, would you ever do one of those shows? Well, because I did Naked and Afraid, which it's is a like Discovery kind of Channel. Like, it's huge. In yeah. fact, we just got an Emmy. Yeah. And we've, it's been the number one unscripted it's reality show for the last four years. You have to run with You have to run with it. Do but something it's, else. But that was very real, hardcore survival and not about the backstabbing and drama. I yeah. don't play that game. Yeah. So as far as Survivor goes, I would have a hard time doing that. Really? Yeah. I would, because I'm not, I'm nice. Nikki, I'm nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, you can meet, so you think that everybody that's on the Survivor is just a real pain in the ass? No, ass. but you have to play the game, and I don't want, I, yeah, I don't. She yeah, I want to play the game. I don't do that. Like Big Brother and things like that. I'm, I'm, a, not I'm a no drama it. mama. So. <laughs> I, could, I could be a real drama mama. I, I, I try not to, to be, because it's a pain in the ass, but. It, it, you know, it's too complicated and waste a lot of time. It is. And well, let me productive. let me ask you this. Yeah. I have my outline for the show that I want. I'm making it very concise. Where do I go from that? That's where I'm having the hard time. Do I go to an agency? Do I go to a manager? Do I go to the managers? Are usually pretty good. But Travel not, Channel so itself. You're lucky. I'm you're, just not sure. You're, That's you're my lucky. Issue. You what, what, the, what, the, what can she do, Max? Go to the producer of her show. <laughs> yeah. Well, I have, yeah. and actually, he's funneling it into producers he knows in. Um, travel channel. I think yeah. it's a great but, idea. So you, so you, but I don't want to put all my eggs in just one basket. He's a wonderful man, but he's also very busy. But did you film already your... Oh, it's done. It's already aired. We were the last whole last no, season. No, no, I mean your your sizzle. own sizzle. Oh, my sizzle. sizzle. I don't have my own sizzle reel. No, I, I have it written down. Okay. I think you should do that because I feel nowadays they don't like reading on papers. They want to see like it. it. They want to uh, watch you, it. You know, you, you take it a sizzle reel, they say, let me see it in writing. You take it in writing, they say, let me see the picture, the video. You have to so be over-prepared. Yeah, you have okay. to have yeah. everything. All right. I just I just did um, a pilot for a show called A Flashback to the Future, where I took my old interviews and re-interviewed the same people, like Joan Collins and Arnold Schwarzenegger, places like that. They say, oh, you know, nostalgia is coming back with a bang. I go to sell it, they say, you know, we don't really want a nostalgia show. So it's, everything mm -hmm. is... You have to be it's in the subjective, yeah. It, yeah. It's I mean, even even though there are channels now that are typed that you can get on that show. You know, you're looking for a cooking show. You go to the cooking channel. You go to there are outlets that mm -hmm. do it. You're young. I'm sure that you have a good yeah. reel. You must have tons of footage on yourself. I do. Yeah. Yes. What you have to do is you have to get somebody that comes in and then just, just say, "Hi, I'm so and so. This is what I want to do. I want to take you around the world. I want to start here and class and just do it." Just do it, put it nowadays, oh, nowadays you can do it with your iPhone. Yeah, you know? that's so true. And now, but remember, if you want to say something, what did you what did you advise me, Max? Always have to have a non-disclosure agreement Absolutely. before you tell your piece or before you Absolutely. tell whatever I do it you know, everything. ideas you right. have. And then so no one can steal, steal it from but you. But yes. you want to have something, they still steal it from you. And <laughs> they still you can't steal trust it from anyone. You. Even, if you yeah. tell them, even if they sign, they still steal it The problem steal is that everything I do is about me, so it's a little hard to steal me into right. another thing. <laughs> you know, oh, I'm playing the part of Nikki Haskell. Oh, really? Where'd you get that concept? Right. Well, but you know what I'm saying? It, there's so many different things out there to do, but you have to protect yourself. I mean, I have a girlfriend of mine that invented this fabulous thing. I said to her, have a non-disclosure agreement. Oh, no, these people, it's a dog product, right? These people are so wonderful and so nice, they knocked her right oh, off like uh, that. Yeah. So then you're in a position, do you want to sue a major company and waste your money and waste exactly. your time and draw attention to them? Mm -hmm. You have to concentrate. On, better, I said, don't pay any attention to them. Just worry about your product and your thing. I'll give you an interesting thing. When I was in the diet business, I had a boyfriend of mine that decided to knock off my product. Okay, 
So they made out this counterfeit product of mine, and he got my best friend, who at the time was Zsa, Zsa Gabor. Oh. And he got Zsa, Zsa Gabor to be the spokesperson for this product. Well, when I heard about it, I was like totally crazed, right? First of all, I love Jaja, but she couldn't say that they say had some cockamamie name for this product. She couldn't say it because she always says darling and darling. She could only say one syllable words. This was like a three syllable word. And she was on the David Letterman show and she couldn't say general nutrition centers. So, and okay. then everybody thought it was my product, okay? You okay. have to have good karma. They, so, the general nutrition center was my biggest account bought a million dollars worth of product from it, they made it take it all back because wow. she didn't sell it. And I never drew attention to her. I could have easily gone to page six and said, you know, man, my girlfriend knocked off my product and now she's trying. I never brought, mm -hmm. no, never mentioned it, never said a word, stay focused on what you're doing. Yes, the world is filled with really horrible, miserable, terrible yeah, people. Yeah, right. So you have to always be aware of that. When somebody says to you, trust me, you know they're going to screw you in five minutes. Mm -hmm. Oh, gosh. <laughs> That's so the, the truth, you, especially guys. So you say, never listen. You never believe people. Because people say, who are oh, trustworthy they they don't have to sell their yeah. trust. Yeah. They say, oh, trust me, you know, I'll do this for you. Wrong. That'll yeah. never happen. In your dreams. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think, Lindsay, for me, start your Sizzle Reel and mm -hmm. then... You know, I think you're way ahead of the game. Yeah. I think you're doing a great job. And you already had that experience being on TV and, you know, being and you on can the show. I have, quite a, I have you know a good following but as you well. Know, in, in, yeah. I, yeah, that's a very important thing. How many people do you have on Instagram? 12 trillion. Uh, no, no. Instagram, I'm more new at. I have a few thousand people. Yeah. Facebook, I have almost 200,000. See, and it's so strange because I'm on you the one that you can only have 5,000. Five, 5, you have a fan page, right? I do. I should have had a fan page. I have thousands of people that want to be on it. But I find Instagram really quite cool. I like it. I don't like Twitter at all. It's so mean-spirited. I'm nice and mm. fun. <laughs> I don't want to put the knock on anybody. It's, right. not, my, it's not who I am. Mm -hmm. I, I like I like Instagram. I post on it all the time. I think it's great. But the, now now there's so much it's so much easier to get something out there because there is the internet. There mm -hmm. I, there is the you know and the I, different I sites. I think we like us. We got we got our show from Instagram. Mm -hmm. Instagram, I think it's a very I love it's a, Instagram. It's a powerful yeah. it's a powerful it's tool that you can use. And then there's like story. And now they have the Instagram. Um, yeah. What's your Instagram? Please tell everyone. What's Ooh, your Instagram? It is at Chef Lindsay Fitness. Okay, and, and then I'm now they're, they have, what do you call that, Max? They have the Instagram TV right now. Do they really? Where you can film like a minute and then start, and then don't forget, if How you do, you do it, that? you I hashtag. I swear, I, our I hashtag, hashtag a lot. that's where they found us. I'm yes, at Nikki. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm at bignick.com. Yep. Big Nick, I'm at Big Nick BH. Okay, and then what B -I -G -N -I -K -B -H. is your... B-I-G-N-I-K, B-H. I'm at Nikki Haskell. Okay. Well, do you have, can you tell everyone your um, Facebook account so at, at Nikki they Haskell. can follow you? Sure. My Facebook is just Lindsay Lytell, and you can find that actually through the Discovery Channel as well. Good girl. You, okay. You're yeah. way ahead of the game. But, yeah. I would, but if I were you, Good. I would go back to the Discovery Channel. Did you, did the, when you were on the air, I'm sure you had very high ratings. We did, yes. Yeah. So that's it. That you, you're and home it just free. finished. We just finished. Will you have us on your show? A couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. We have you have when you get Absolutely. the show. Absolutely. Yes. Show? yes. <laughs> but you have to be naked. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. But you do. I, I'm overdressed. But we'll follow you with mirrors. <laughs> I'm overdressed when I'm naked. So I believe it. I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, what is that? What is which one? Oh, what what are the other products that you're? Me? Yeah, you're selling okay. right now. Well, I'm not selling anything right now, but my Star Cruncher is going back on the market. All my products are Star. Okay. My Star Cruncher is going back on the market in October, mm -hmm. and I have a new invention called the Star Shooter, which is a case for your phone that stands up and lights up and makes into a selfie stick. Oh. And uh, I've got a couple other projects that I'm working on. I'm working on a mm -hmm. fabulous product called Fun Wine. It's a uh, sparkling wine in a can. Okay, fun. Flavored wines, absolutely like terrific. I'm working on a lot of different projects, and I'm working on a major movie. Wow. Yeah. Oh. So, and you still don't have an agent? I don't have an agent. See, you and actually, I have can a I manager. play you in your movie? <laughs> I know. Nowadays, yeah, actually. Yeah, I need somebody to play me. I, my, my, I actually wrote my, my memoirs, too. But the products that, this, this particular project is not me-based, which mm. is good, because, you know, it's, you got to be your own. You got to be your own bells and whistles. But you've got such a great entree. Yeah. You know, you're on the channel. You were great, and I'm sure that the footage you have is hysterical. 
Well, I have to yeah. tell you that we, um, this last time I was on the all-female team, so there were, there were three of us before I we met I saw that. Up. I watched that. Yes, yeah. yes. And so we're the first time ever that um, a team started and finished together. Mm -hmm. So all three of us girls finished. We got the first female big kill. My friend shot a warthog with a bow and arrow. Wow. I gutted it. Wow. I, we named him Kevin Bacon. I gutted oh, I it. I love that. Perfect. I threw him on my back, and I carried him a couple miles back to camp, and How we ate him. How big was it? He was probably about 75 pounds. You, you carried it on your back? I did. I have his tusks on my shelf at home. Couldn't you get like home. Uber to come pick it up or <laughs> no, something? No, there's no African Uber. No African Uber. Wait, did you I did you really eat those? Yes, yes. Oh my God. It was amazing. Oh my God. Oh, wait, wait, before I end, I, I want to thank, I wanna thank all of Whiskey for my earrings. So you like it? Oh, they're I so love them. beautiful. Oh, yeah, it's so stunning. pretty. Go with your dress. They look terrific. Thank you. Thank you so much, Olive. So I'm, I'm so excited. This, I want to see you, you know, get naked. We want to see you naked. <laughs> no, I want to see, I want to see your, you know, your sister real and I want to see you out there because I think, you know, you can be very, very, you can inspire a lot of women out there. And, Thank you. You know, yes. like what they, did, can I it. ask you a personal question? Sure. Did you lose a lot of friends after this whole, you know? The Donald Trump thing? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's sort of an interesting story because first of all, I'm a Democrat and yeah. I've never had a problem with happened. anybody. Yeah. Well, Don, I just really believe that Donald would do a great job. Mm -hmm. And even though I went, to the, I went to the inauguration with the Clintons and everything else, I really felt that Donald was the right person. Never entered my mind, mm -hmm. okay, that anybody would stop being a friend of mine because I voted for the, a, a, a candidate. If we live in a country, the United States, you can vote for anybody you want, <laughs> right? But needless to say, most of my friends are liberals, and they went bananas. Uh, oh. I had friends, I mean, really, I, mean, I didn't really pay too much attention to it, except when my best friend came up to me and said, I, I can't be your friend anymore because I, you no. were, you're a racist. I'm the last oh. person who was racist. So basically, um, I mean, I speak to her, and you know, we're not enemies or anything. I mean, I've got my problem. I have one couple that I was best friends with. They don't speak to me at all, and I'm in business that's with them, so sad. that's a little. But you know what? Friends are like bus stops. There's one on every corner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I can get another friend. Words to live I'm by. not going to take you to the. <laughs> you I mean, lose one, you gain one. You know, it's, it, the, if, if they weren't my friends anyway. If they were my friends, they wouldn't care about That's it. That's true. And the, and the reality of the situation is Donald Trump is the president of the United States, and as an American citizen, it's my responsibility to to support him, whether I like him or not. If, if I, when Obama was a president, I wasn't crazy about him, but he was the president. Right. And you had to be an American citizen. You have you have your own choices. You pick who you want. Sometimes you get your guy in. Sometimes you don't. Mm -hmm. I think I could do more important things being his friend yeah. than not. Because I think the way people are acting is insane. Yeah. To take the, his star away from the Hollywood Walk of Fame, right. the dumbest thing I ever heard in my life. Okay, so Max has a question. What's that? Has anyone talked about you from the show, from being on Nick? Oh, yeah. Right? yeah. Like Nikki's friends have you know, talked about her, but yeah. has anyone came to you and said, you know, oh, um, you were this or that? Or anything? No, you know what? I, I made it a point to make sure that I was loving and I wasn't two-faced to people because yes. I, I can't stand when people go on and they act one way and then they go, but you know me, you know the real me. No, the real me I wanted to show. Yes. And so I have had mostly um, nothing but positive feedback. Good. So it's very it's real. Good. It's very I, good. I have, the, the weirdest thing is when my husband has friends that, that say, I'm so proud of your wife, but I can't watch the show because she's naked. <laughs> but you go, but it's blurred out. It's on, I mean, my children yeah. watch it. There's nothing, when you make it sexual, then mm -hmm. the issue's with you, yeah. not with what I did. So, yeah, I, I yeah. watch the show, and you don't really watch the show as people naked. No, it's all yeah, survival. It's, it's yeah. all the survival, it's all the things. So how did you prepare for the show? You run yeah. around. You run around your I backyard. Think, yeah. I um, I mean, no, I just I read a lot of books, and you just trial trial by fire. But it is. I mean, oh. Did you go on like? Did you like go on like a little outing on yourself? To see I've if always you could been do very it? active and outdoorsy. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! I love this. Okay, I cannot wait. I you want don't to stop. See, no, I want to see your um, your sizzle tape, um, your reel, and and I want everyone. Oh, whoever's watching out there, any producers or any managers or anyone Just one running thing. the street. Don't go to their hotel rooms at 2 o'clock. Yes. Yes. Not, not doing that. Yes. Not doing that. <laughs> you don't want to be a part of the Me Too movement. That's right. You don't no. because it's, yeah. back, it's backfiring on women. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Protect so yourself at all times. So you, you 
once again, can you tell them your email just in case you want to get Lindsay and want to watch her um, My video? My Instagram is Chef Lindsay Fitness. That's with an E-Y. Okay. And um, Facebook is Lindsay Lytel. Once again, you can look me up on Discovery Channel. And Nikki, mm -hmm. what is... The I'm, next project? Oh, my, well, my, I'm Big Nick BH on Instagram and mm -hmm. at Nikki. My big project, that was this movie that I'm doing. I'm very excited Oh, I'm excited. Can't we can't wait. And hopefully I'll get a television show before I'm 90. I could be the centerfold for ARP. All right. Remember that, <laughs> remember that oftentimes it's not only what you know, but you know, and of course, who you choose to utilize, uh, who you choose to, to utilize your talent and use the information you have or have gathered and before starting a project think about all of the resources you may have available to you to help you to be successful every business is tough you have to have so much passion put into it and to be uh, to be successful in show business though it can't be just all talent you have to have thick skin and persevere and a lot of luck all yeah mm -hmm. all ups and downs of your business and a lot of luck you will get knocked down 100 times, but you must get up 101 times to succeed. Tip of the day, ladies out there, be aggressive, be hungry, meet people, get as much resources um, on the field that you want to be um, in. And do not forget to always remember that people that have helped you on your way up because that is good karma. Okay, that wraps up our episode for today. Remember <laughs> to give love to one another. Give love to the first person you see after watching this show. Thank you so much, thank Nikki. You. Thank you and thank you, Lindsay. Cheers. You're listening to Polished Woman only on LA Talk Radio.